So, um, <clears throat> welcome back to the series of the Lumia Legacy Beginner Guide. And we're at episode 4. So, um, I left at the episode 3, like, in between the gym. So, we're like, not done with the gym and we're not just about to start. So, um, now, let's click on continue and let's start the thing. Loading. Now we are back in the battle theater. So um, let me close these. And now I remember we did the first battle and the puzzle. So now um, I remember we healed. I don't think we did though, but we don't need to heal. This it would just be a waste of meds. So now let's go back for the second one him and then click yes so now you're gonna have to do another puzzle and another battle don't worry they're not like that hard but the puzzles get harder and like the final battle in the gym, battle theater that is a bit hard but you can do it it's not the worst so um, this is the puzzle again this time it's a bit different you see those black colored tiles you can read these they also explain the same thing but i'll explain it at the same time so black tiles are ones on which you cannot move so if i click on w i don't run into this run on these black tiles so i can only walk on the green or white now i'm gonna activate this and activate this and activate this deactivate come here and again activate and now they all are activated stand here stand here 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 now you have to get this and like completely not bright and then stand on the middle so um now there's our second battle another person so I think this person has a Vambat or an idiot, I don't remember. So um, let's click, wait a second. So um, I don't think I've told this yet, but if you go to Lumians and you go to the stats of our Lumian, it's not exactly important now because the personality, this, all that, not, not really important, but the things you want to know, you're going to go here. And see the strength. So this move has 40 strength, and this move also has 40 strength. But this is a, has a fist emoji or picture, and there's a like an arrow over here. So this is the melee attack, and this is a ranged attack. Now, if we go here, we see this melee and ranged. Our ranged is much higher than our melee attack. So that means <coughs> attacks with ranged. Are usually stronger than attacks with melee. So we go to battle. So flurry is our strongest move. Go back and come here. Now we can just click flurry. It should do a lot of damage. Give it two shot in the twin act. No, I don't think so. I think we're gonna maybe three shot it. So um most uh, like in the last one you're you're like i'm 99 percent sure you're gonna run out of energy so um, that time don't rest because if you're at either the kleptic or the last geklo they probably do a lot of damage so um now another flurry and this should take up the twilight obviously so, we gain some experience and we level up. Do we learn a move? Yes, we learn a new move called Snowdozer. So, um, when you learn a move but the entire um, like slot is filled, there's already four moves, you get this option. Do you want to forget a move in order to learn Snowdozer? Always click yes. Like Most of the time click yes, unless you absolutely don't want it, you know that you don't want it. So here, it's a melee attack, but here's the effect. 
pack yourself into a ball of snow and roll over the opponent five turns in a row. So pick up more snow each time, increasing damage. So this means if you use snow dozer once, you won't be able to use a different move five times. So um, five turns, but you attack stronger. So it seems like a good move, although it's a melee attack. So let's just remove one of these snows because they both do the same thing. Actually, this one raises arts and lowers the opponent. I'll re I'll remove. Hmm. Let me remove Doddle. I don't really need that. I might use Blaze in the future. I don't really know. So um, now we have a new move called Snow Dozer. So the opponent has a Vambat. I don't want to switch. This is the other starter if you remember and hmm, let's actually let's risk it and try out snow dozer so um, how much damage it avoids the attack okay accuracy is not that good so it's supposed to avoid um, Amelia attack is down I don't want to try that again but if you look at that we don't have enough energy to use either flurry or snow dozer I don't want to use strike because it's not exactly the best move. So here I'm gonna just wait, not rest because Mambat might do some fat damage to us. So tease, okay, tease. Now when you get teased at by Lumion, then um, you can't use the same move again. So for example, I use Flurry now, then I can't use it again for a turn or two, and then I have to use another move. And then same thing, I can't use both the moves. Especially that that happens, I think. So um I'm gonna flurry anyway because I wanna do as much as damage as possible. And it's a lot of damage. They teased again. So um, now it fails, so we might be able to click flurry. No, because they used these earlier. I'm gonna click on strike because I'm gonna save snow dozer for the last. Okay, that that did a lot less than I expected. Um, can I flurry? Yes, I can. Still snow dozer. Flurry is better than it now. So unless you're running out of energy, just keep doing flurry and not others. Of course, your other lumians, you get other moves. You can just always check the Wikipedia to see how good the moves are, etc. I will link the Wikipedia down in the description in this video. I completely forgot. And would you look at that? We gained some mastery points. So um, mastery, it's basically like a leveling up system for the trainer, not for the Lumions. So as you level up, you gain rewards. And to level up, you have to finish certain quests related to a Lumion. And when you finish all the quests related to one Lumion, then you will be able to encounter a gamma version of it. A gamma version is a different type of a gleaming. So um, they're really, really rare. If you don't have either charm or boost, I think it's one in twenty thousand. So um, yeah, we got one more boost token. So I think we have two right now. Let's click on OK, and we're done with the second battle. So now let's check our health it's so the same so no need to use anything again so now same thing just run into him now this is the battle star yes i finally got that word um so the battle star is the last person you face off and like the boss of the navigator so um let's go and beat the battle star i guess so just a disclaimer if you chose either an eaglet or a v-volt it's gonna be a bit hard this gym because the last person the i think the v-volt yeah the v-volt is kind of weak to a geklo and the eaglet just gets demolished by the kleptic most of the times so um don't worry it's not that hard but um yeah okay this thing i don't exactly know how to do it so um Maybe just do what I do. Go up here, now and down, and here. So you get those three, and then the remaining ones. 
can just rewatch that part of the video and do what I do. But um, yeah, it's even there in the wiki. So go look in there too. Why, why is there a wiki and I'm doing this? I don't know, man. So um, this is the first gym. Yes. Now um, this is Naya, the battle star, and. It's a bit hard, not that hard, but a bit hard to beat this person. So um, let's try the cleptic at the end. That's concerning. So um, now not gonna take any chances and click snow dozer. Although we might use it in the future because the final evolution of snow cub is a melee type attack move. So um, although snow cub is a range attacker, final evolution is a melee attacker. So now um, we're gonna three shot it with flurry. So one thing Geklo does a lot is use dodge. Dodge is like the one move which avoids everything in the universe. So it's it's gonna be very annoying because you start losing energy a lot. And um, it might dodge now. It didn't. Okay, I'm happy it did because if it does have dodge, really annoying man. Like really annoying. So, um, that's a lot of experience. And another get clue. You don't know, want to switch. So, um, Kabunga Coffee is really helping us out right now because we'll be low on HP. Yeah, there's the dodge. So, um, now it's gonna avoid the attack and we're gonna lose our energy the ones we used. And. I hope Kabunga Coffee works again. Not not again, please. Okay, so dodge, most of the times it doesn't work twice in a row. But sometimes if you get lucky, it will. So um, you can do a random move, dodge, and random move, and then again dodge. So now thanks to the Kabunga Coffee, we can do one more flurry. So static shock, it's gonna hurt a bit, but not that much. So now... We're in kind of a situation here where, okay, Kabul Coffee, thank you so much, but it's not gonna help right now. We're in kind of low HP and low energy. We really gotta rest or wait, and all we need to heal. I'm not gonna rest. If it does static shock, we're gonna take tons of damage, so I'm gonna wait. If it does any damaging move now, heal. Okay, if you go less than half HP, heal immediately. So, now I'm gonna flurry again. Dodge it now, it might dodge again. Static shock. Okay. Um, now, with the Kleptic, it's gonna be a problem because we're low on HP. So, um, it's a lot of experience and Kabunga coffee. Thank you so much, man. So, um, Kleptic. Now, there is something we could have done which was switch into one of these and sacrifice them and heal snow and stall maybe but I'm not gonna do that because that's not exactly the most fun thing to do it's gonna be challenging but I'm gonna heal myself pilfer is a very strong mode to look out for okay sharpen our melee defense is low if you saw that yellow color thing on our melee defense yeah that means it's low and this thing got a melee attack increase. That means it's gonna hit really hard. So um, I'm gonna flurry. Really hope it doesn't. Oh my gosh, that's gonna hurt. Oh god. Two. Okay, that is plus two, which means that's a lot of attack damage. But we get some more Kabunga coffee. Kabunga coffee, thank you so much. But Oh no, Pilfer. Come on, live it. Gotta live it. Oh my gosh. See, that's what happens. It's really hard beating this Kleptic here. So, um, now we basically lost our strongest Lumion, which is probably gonna lose the match here. Quick Pounce. We just got Quick Pounce to death. That's how bad our team is. So, um, this is gonna be our first loss in this series if we really do lose. Okay, it took our Kabunga coffee. So, um, it's getting back energy now. 
as if knocking out my starter wasn't enough. So um, it rested seriously, man. That stalling. I did so less. Okay. Um, don't make the same mistake as I did. Um, try knocking it out as fast as possible. Oh my God. He just got completely wrecked by Kleptic. Um, so, um, I don't wanna just show the entire thing like me going all the way back to the battle star. So, I'm gonna pause the recording here and I'll get to the battle star, okay? Don't worry, I'll do it. Um, I'll cut to when I get there, okay? So, yeah. Okay, so um, I've reached here. It took me like five minutes, but um, yeah. So um, I'm gonna skip to the dialogue, just spam your mouse. And now, this time, we're gonna beat her. Um, I'm 99% sure, okay? Don't blame me if I lose. It's, it's RNG, okay? The opponent uses random moves. So, um, that double sharpen we got there, uh, that wasn't supposed to happen usually so this time i'm actually gonna heal and not waste a turn there so um in the second gecko fight i'm gonna heal but just don't static shock me again please don't oh a crit yes critical hit they do more damage but that was really helpful so um when at level 16 we evolve at 18 so um we're really close to evolution, so okay. So now I'm gonna flurry. Don't you dodge? Okay, static shock. Yeah, I'm gonna heal now and not just not knock out the get low first and heal. But here, items small. I have 11, I, I can use as many as I want, but I'll save them up. Come on, dodge. Please dodge. Please dodge. Miss Young, please come on. Shine. Okay, that's a different move. That's light type. Um, so, that is light and electric. So, there's the dodge. Come on, man. You, you dodge. I mean, I don't want you to dodge. That's it. Okay, he's probably gonna shine or come on. Okay. Thank God it failed. Why? Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna go in with like really low energy. I'm gonna rest, actually wait. Dodge. Okay, he's got a rest. And we get the Kamunga coffee. Awesome. So, um... I either heal and and knock out, but I'm gonna heal and knock out, you know what, so just so that we just get maximum health and stuff. And Munga Coffee maybe wanna work now, but right now maybe. Yes, thank you. It's like we're all maxed out. Now, don't dodge, okay, shine, that really sucks, but at least we knocked out the get low with a lot of energy and we don't have any need to um, start healing ourselves and we level up epic so we're two levels ahead of Kleptic which is level 15 yes so um flurry I'm just gonna spam flurry at this point oh come on the first move cannot be sharpened seriously man I really gotta do a lot of damage to you because you get one more sharpen. Oh well, thank you for the critical hit. Perfect timing, huh? Um, I really hope I take it out now. Quick pounce. Oh god, oh thank goodness I'm resistant to that. Come on, my coffee. No. No, it has the advantage of not needing to rest or wait sometimes. Okay, yes, that's it. We got the, we got the thing. GG. Um, the thing. Uh, okay, I forgot the word. We won. We beat the first battle theater. The medal. 
Harmony medal? Yes, the harmony medal and we got the badge. GG. So here she gives us an upgrade and she tells us to meet her at that mine we saw earlier in Route 3. So um she gives us a upgrade which can do something called a stunning flash so this thing if you remember that black gooey thing you saw at gale forest that can be removed by using stunning flash so now this guy is not here so we can just go out and we'll officially beat the gym so let's head out and um yeah, now our parents, I think they call us and they tell us they saw the thing on the, the TV. So, they just say, get home soon, etc. All that. So now, um, I'll just show you where the great chest thing is. So, go towards this side of the battle theater and walk straight. You see these weird um, container things. So, oh god, I'm lagging, but um, here, there's the chest, I think you get ADV discs, yes, ADV discs, they're the short form of advanced discs, they're just better discs than capture discs, so if you encounter something a bit rarer, like for example a root rare like Kleptic, it took a bit hard, a, lot, a bit of time to capture and a lot of discs, so if you threw an ADV disc, would have a higher chance of capturing so um i'm gonna go back here and i'm gonna heal first yes one of two and now i'm gonna buy some stuff so here catch discs and small meds um i'm actually gonna just buy two small meds and I'll buy three capture discs. I'm gonna save up for something else, maybe like an ADV disc. Then we unlock that in the shop. So um, save up your discs, like ADV discs, because uh, you won't be able to get them in the shop for a long time. Not exactly a long time, but not right now. So just keep them and watch my snow cub doing. Oh gosh, the glitches. So now snow cub is pretty happy. Close to that. So, um, yeah, now we got to go and meet Naya in that cave mine area in route 3. So, she'll actually do the upgrade over there and not exactly in the gym or battle theater. So, um, yeah, let's leave that for the next episode. So, um, yeah, if you like the video, like, share, subscribe and Comment below how can I improve or any other ideas to make because I'm really running out of ideas and my guide is the only thing that's keeping me from not uploading. So um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.